I know some beauties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, do yourself a favor, subscribe, hit that bell notification, come join the team, cause we getting baddies over here. All right, today's video, another question from one of you guys. Let's get right into it, okay. Can you make a video on how do you get your ex back that you've been with for three plus years? And this is your guy's first breakup because you were entertaining a female in her DMs, which is cheating, no physical touch, or don't even know the female, and you were begging and pleading for three months, and within those three months, at first she told you she'll give it a few months before you guys get back together, but after you begging and pleading, she was being disrespectful, like talking about your deceased family members. Oh, oh, oh. See, I've been there, bruh. I have been there. I've been there and it's not. That brings out a different side of you. That definitely takes you out of your character. When somebody gets that low and below the belt, you gotta, she gotta go. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Get back with her. Get back for what? She disrespected you on a level that's incomprehensible. That's not the one for you. No matter how upset they are, they should never go, go there, right? So you are addicted to toxicity. You're addicted to the toxic behavior because it brings something out of you and then you disguise it as love. I've been there. A lot of people be there all the time. There's people there right now. You there right now. This is not the girl for you. You gotta let her go get a dropper. I'm gonna finish reading it though about your deceased family members and were bringing you down with all negativity, words calling you broken, etc. since you were being needy and got into another relationship within that time. Oh, wait. Yeah, man. Look, we all been there. You guys are in a relationship and things go, they go sour, right? And then you start to just say all of these things that are just really below the belt. But at the same time, it's like, you don't mean it. You're just trying to hurt them because you feel hurt. Because if you, if she really was like, yo, you're broke and said all this other stuff, she was just with you, you know what I'm saying? Like, to her, it's like, you were just with him. Why were you with him if he's all of these things? You know what I'm saying? So don't take it personal. She's literally just trying to get you to feel what she feels but worse than what she feels. Because if you feel worse than her, it'll make her feel a little bit better. So you guys go back and forth saying all of these things. But what you're really saying is, I love you, why did you do this to me? Why? But no, right now, bro, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you how to get her back. Honestly, I would say let that one go because you need to find somebody mature enough to have been through situations like this and knows not to go there, knows how to handle it, knows not to say certain things that you can't take back. She can apologize, but she still said it. You feel me? This video is gonna be a two part thing because I need to give you guys advice that's more broad, but for your question, let that go, fall back. Um, she has a lot of, a lot of apologizing to do, growing up to do, that's not okay. Um, but for this video, you did bring up cheating, so I'm gonna talk about cheating, all right? If you cheat on somebody, let's say you physically did, you know what I'm saying? Not even just texting or whatever. You physically, you cheated, you hooked up with another girl, and your girl's done with you. But you regret it, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you might have been lit. Who knows why? Something you guys could have been arguing, and you're like, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna go hook up with this girl. You didn't really think about it too much, it just happened, and boom. I, she found out you're regretting it. What you need to do, if you really want to still be with her, give her a genuine apology. Just be real, just be straight up. Be like, look, I apologize. I shouldn't have done that. I love you. I know it doesn't seem like I do because if I did, why would I do something like that? So I understand if you don't want to be with me, but I'm telling you right now, from the bottom of my heart, I do still want to be with you. I want to work it out and I promise you it will never happen again. But like I said, I know you probably want your space right now and I respect that and I won't bother you, but I'm here. Boom, leave it like that. 
in situations like this, because I always tell you guys, don't validate, don't be chasing, don't be begging, don't be pleading. I'm not saying to beg or plead or whatever, or even validate. It's okay to show your appreciation for somebody that you are in a relationship with, especially if you cheated. Okay, that's the best time to lay it all on the table. I'm not saying to continuously do it always every day. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have done it. One time. One time. Okay? This is a one time thing. You need to just lay it all out there and then fall back. This is powerful because if you do it from a genuine, authentic place and she realizes, okay, he really means this. She'll internalize it, and then once she sees that you're a man of your word as well, and you actually do fall back, that builds her trust. It, it shows her, okay, he can really say something and mean it. So if he said he's gonna fall back and not bother me a week's gone by or whatever, and you still haven't hit her up, you're giving her space, you're not posting nothing crazy on social media, you really just focus on yourself, and she sees it and she feels the energy, feels the vibe, then she can easily start to believe what you said before, which is all the nice things and how you won't ever do it again. Women just need reassurance. And yes, it is possible to come back from cheating on somebody. I know a lot of you guys think, hey, it might not be. And hey, it, honestly, it might not be. Some women, they just don't put up with it at all. It's not a mistake. Cheating is not a mistake, you know? But some people get married and live happily ever after after being cheated on. So it's not impossible. You just have to know how to maneuver it. You know how to um, basically just work on manipulating her emotions. I'm not saying manipulating in a bad way, in a negative, like you're trying to get over on her because you're being real. Don't do this unless you really love her. A lot of times people try to get back with their exes after they cheat because their ex just doesn't want to be with them anymore so their ego is hurt. Don't let this be an ego thing. You really need to just sit with yourself. If it's like, hey, I don't know, I apologize. You could apologize still not ask for her back. You can say, look, I apologize. I shouldn't have done that. It was disrespectful. I should have just, you know, basically broken up with you and figured out what I want. But right now, I need to figure out what I want and clear my head. What you know, figure out the exact words to say, but something like that and fall back if that's how you feel, okay? But yeah, man, either way, I would suggest not cheating. That's my suggestion, you know? Just don't be in a relationship. Trust me, I've cheated before. I have, okay? And it's not worth it. It's really not. So if you're gonna be with somebody, just be with them. I always say you have a roster and things like that. Yeah, cool. Like you, especially in the beginning, you you talking to somebody you're not really in a relationship. Do your thing, bro. Do your thing. But if you lock down, you can still, you know what I'm saying? Have friends. You know what I'm saying I'm not saying hook it up. Hook, look, can't talk. I'm not saying hook up with all the girls that you talk to. You know what I mean? Definitely show respect to your relationship. But I feel like you guys get what I'm saying. I don't want to just keep blabbering. Um, <laughs> Hey, I want to let you guys know I'm over on TikTok now. Um, follow me. It's Mr. Guy Jokes 69 That's on TikTok. I'm posting every single day going crazy. One of my videos going a little bit viral. So, hey, let's run it up over there. If you guys have TikTok, you know, I'm late to the party. I should have been on it. But anyways, you guys aren't here for that. You guys are here for this. So if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new down below. Download Winning With Women ebook. Also, cop you some magnetic cologne. Until next time, focus on you and the women will too. I know some and they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas.